Y'all, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Escape and SWV finally announced their iconic tour together after they failed to deliver the first go around when things got way too rocky. You see what I did there? <laughs> oh my God, my mind. <laughs> Hell no. And here we go, y'all. Here we fucking go. Latasha Scott said, hold on, Mona. Not so fast, girl. Not so fucking fast. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And I'm really, really hoping that you guys paid that extra $20 and got insurance on your tickets because from the looks of things, this whole show might actually get shut down. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No, you know. Ooh. <laughs> The most important thing in a relationship is communication. Skate, are you ready to communicate? And what about you? SWV? No, nothing. It's telling me that you want to co-headline a 30-city tour across the country this summer. Who said that? I remember when I first got the news about this Queens of R&B teaser, the first thing I thought about was that Shady Behind Bravo series from last year that honestly kind of ate the Real Housewives of Atlanta girls up. <laughs> I remember every single episode had fans windmilling in the streets for one reason or the other because Latasha Scott and her husband Rocky were always in some mess. For some reason, my project got shelved. And then within that same time frame, Candy got signed and her album came out. They can say what they want, but they timelines ain't timeline. I got facts and receipts, honey. <laughs> Don't do it. That's why I was just a little bit disappointed when I noticed that our queen of mean was missing from this new escape and SWV situation. And my first thought was, Lord, this is about to be some mess. Fast forward to today and Straight From The A just dropped a bombshell article that reveals shocking details about some litigation that might just get this whole thing shut down before it even gets started. Here's me, here's me gagging. Oh. Yes, y'all already know that Latasha and Rocky were not gonna let that slide. <laughs> <laughs> The streets are saying that the two of them were hot sauce mad when they found out about this tour between SWV and Escape at the same time that we did. And according to Straight From The A, Latasha Scott is flexing her muscles as one half of the trademark holder of the Escape brand and has hired an attorney to send a very serious message to Live Nation and Mona Scott Young, who are both infringing on her trademark by promoting and putting on this multi-city tour without so much as sending Latasha a DM first. And in the legal documents obtained by Michelle from Straight From The A, Latasha is checking Live nation for not only promoting this tour without her consent, but she has a huge problem with them not including her in discussions to agree on financial terms for the use of her trademark. In other words, bitch better have my money. You in the hood now, baby. And the messy part is Latasha is alleging that Mona Scott, who is the official co-promoter of the Queens of R&B tour, is sliding her intentionally since Mona was the one who had to get Latasha's express permission the first time that she wanted to use the Escape trademark when she produced their reality show that aired on Bravo last year. And she has actually managed the group before, so Mona knew exactly what was up. Let the games begin. Yes, you can read the full rundown on straightfromthea.com. I'll be placing the link in the description box below so that you can read the letter for yourself. Ooh, y'all, this is actually a lot. And I really feel bad for y'all. And I wonder what y'all are going to do, actually, what we are going to do with our tickets if Latasha actually gets this tour shut down. You are out of pocket. Who 
Oh, y'all, I already know that Mama Joyce has already been blowing Tasha's phone up because even though Latasha hasn't really sent any cease and desists to Candy directly, y'all know that Mama Joyce is not here for any kind of foolishness when it involves her daughter. I wouldn't piss in your mouth if your guts was on fire. Part of me is kind of giving all this mess the side eye, though, because Latasha, girl, let me find out that this is all a scheme to come to us with the bullshit just for a season two of the Queens of R&B. And that's how I feel. Yeah, because let me find out Mona Scott done worked out a separate deal with Latasha and Rocky to get this mess going just to get Bravo to sign on the dotted line and officially greenlight their show for a second season. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Now, some of y'all might remember the Jasmine brand got fans excited for no reason a few weeks ago when they released a story teasing exclusive news about Bravo's plans to finally bring back Candy and the girls for another season. But things got weird when one of SWV's group members shut down those rumors, commenting under the post saying, uh-uh, where is this coming from, question mark? This is not true at all. Please check with reliable sources. I'm sorry you were misinformed with the retro heart emoji. Y'all, it was that old nasty retro heart emoji for me after she knows she dragged those people, low-key calling them unreliable sources. But I don't know, y'all. This story is still developing, and I have a feeling that I'll be back. I just really hope that, honestly, they work this mess out because people really, really, really want to see this tour, and they've wanted to see a tour from Escape and SWV for a really long time. And I would hate for them to have gotten this far, only for everything to go to shit. Spell garbage. G-A-R-B-I-T-C-H. Ooh. What's up? Ooh. My, nigga, my nigga, that's wrong. <laughs> Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Mona Scott was really over there being messy and shady by putting on this whole tour without reaching out to Latasha Scott when she know what she needed to do? Or do y'all think that this drama just makes for a better storyline altogether if Bravo does decide to bring this show back? Don't follow me no more. Coming off of social media. Catch my YouTube videos and that damn show be monetized. Have a great day. Also, let me know if you guys feel like Tasha needs to just focus on her gospel career that she was so excited about and leave these girls alone since she was the one who chose to walk away from the group. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you haven't already, please go right now and check out my dark history video about how black people basically invented country music after you finish this one. My binge watchers are calling it my best video ever and low key, I'm not mad at that. Thanks again for watching this video all the way to the end. I will see you guys on the next one.